Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. Hopefully a quick video overview and just a general impression video on the Spud Inc. pulley system, the lap pull downs, tricep pull downs, whatever you wanna call it. You guys can probably tell, I'll put the actual name in the title, which hopefully you read, and if you didn't read and you just click on my videos anyways, thanks a lot, that's really nice of you. Uh, but I picked up a new piece of equipment and I've been hesitant to buy stuff for the gym since I got the main setup in, only because as you guys probably know, I've already spent a ton of money. I don't wanna spend any more money if I don't have to. And number two, when I did initially buy this, there's some things that I purchased that I probably wish I hadn't purchased only because they haven't been getting much use. So I don't wanna buy something just to buy something. I wanna buy something because it's a necessity and I feel like this spudding pulley system might satisfy those needs. I'm hoping we'll find out after we get to some use. But some of the things I'm talking about as far as I wish I didn't buy, I showed you these rogue things I picked up. I have a T-bar row attachment and a landmine. So what you do is set up some weights, put that in there, and then attach the T-bar row to the other end of the barbell. I just haven't used it. I think I've used it once. I didn't really like it. It's a pain in the ass to set up and move around. I feel like it kind of actually damages the bar some. So I haven't been using those whatsoever. I also have the Rogue Mini Deadlift Jack. Haven't been using this too much either. In fact, I found myself using this Dead Wedge a lot more, which cost $10 as opposed to this 80 some dollar piece of equipment. So. I don't really want to make that same mistake where I'm just buying stuff because I think I need it. I want to make sure that I actually do need it. Now for this spudding pulley system, one of the reasons I want to invest in it is because the way my current training setup, you guys know I've been doing a lot of high bar back squats and I try to use a closer grip on that and I just have the tendency with all the volume I'm doing for that movement, I tend to get a little bit of elbow soreness or tenderness after time and then add on to the fact that I'm doing a lot of close grip bench afterwards followed up with some other tricep movements like skull crushers, weighted dips. My elbows are just taking a beating, so I wanted to find a way to do some tricep movements without putting a ton more stress on it. And I've always found that like things like cable press downs, push downs, rope press downs, whatever attachment you wanna use, has always been a little bit easier on me. So I, I really noticed this spud ink system a long time ago. A lot of people have shown it in videos. Anyone who pretty much has a home gym or garage basement, gym, whatever, they have this product and they speak very highly of it. And I've known about it for quite a while, but to me it's always just seemed like it looks like a cheapy product. The quality just doesn't look like it's very high. And I've actually tried to go a little bit higher quality when I purchase all my other equipment. So this is something I was just like, you know what, that's cheap, I don't wanna get it in my own home gym. But I just got to a point where I had to do something for my elbows and my triceps. So enough people have said good things about it. I said. You know what, I'll just go ahead and take a flyer on it. So that's what I did. So I picked it up here from Rogue. I just have a tendency to get most of my stuff through them. I really like their customer service. I've had some bad issues with other companies. Um, so through Rogue, it was $85 plus $10 to ship. So just about a hundred bucks. So that kind of plays into it some too. Again, I've never really liked the quality of what it looks like. And factoring that it's a hundred bucks, I was like, that's just not for me. Based off of just looking at the packaging, I'm still not impressed. It looks like some heavy duty canvas straps and just some kind of metal wire cable. So I'm not overly impressed with this basic setup. I don't even think it has like really a tag on it besides on the bag itself. So I'm gonna open this up, set it up, give it just some quick use and I'll give you my feedback on it in just a second. Installation is pretty straightforward and easy. You just hang this from the cross member, then stick this thing in the hole as best you can, put on as much weight plates as you want, and attach the pulley system, and it's gonna pull it up nice and easy. The other end, you attach the handles that come with it, and you're pretty much set up with your lat pull down tricep extension. All right, so setup was easy enough, and unfortunately, my initial impressions aren't that good. I still feel like it's a cheap product. However, I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to send it back just because I feel like I will get some use out of it. My main complaints with it is number one, the build quality just doesn't seem like it's sturdy. I'm sure it'll hold up with weights attached to it, but just the actual straps themselves and this cabling and this kind of hookup, I just don't feel like it's very high quality. My other issues is with getting this on and off. It's just kind of going to be a pain. If there was some kind of quick release mechanism for it, that would be great. I think Rogue actually sells something that you could attach to this and it has like a carabiner attachment. So maybe you could get rid of the straps and just use the carabiner itself and attach that to the top here um, if you really wanted to. I'm not sure. I'll look into that. And for me, because my rack's a little bit shorter, the pulley's actually a little bit too long. So in order to really get any real benefit out of this, I'm going to have to step back quite a bit, as you guys saw with those tricep extensions, or get down on the floor and get on my knees, which I don't like doing on video, so you might not see that. But there you go, initial impressions, meh. I'm sure I'll use it. 
but I'm just not overly satisfied with the quality of the product. If you guys are using it or if you heard differently, you think differently, you agree with me, whatever the case may be, let me know in the comment section below. As always, in the meantime, thanks for watching and stay big. But before you do go, if you're interested in signing up for the National Academy of Sports Medicine, they're still running their two-week free trial, which they seem to have been doing all year. So still a great chance to jump on board if you've been waiting. Maybe use some of that Christmas money you get in order to get certified. You can check the link in the description box below, myusatrainer.com slash Campbell Fitness. We'll talk to you guys soon.